Welcome to Wine School. I'm Mike. With me as always, Eric. We got a whole cast of characters with us today. We got Mike, Jewel, Jesse, and Casey. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Hey guys. Yeah, thank you. Today we're going to do Find Your Wine. And so at Wine School, we have this theory that there's, there's a wine for everybody. And you guys know this, right? You, I guarantee you, you have a friend who's like, oh, I don't drink wine. I, I don't like wine. It's not for me. And I also guarantee you that you have friends that are like, oh, I drink Chardonnay. That's what I drink. That's my wine. And we're convinced at Wine School that with such a range of styles and flavors of wine, there's a wine for everybody. There are sweet wines, there's fruity wines, there's low alcohol wines, there's high alcohol wines, there's bubbly wines. There's, there's just a lot of different stuff out there. And it's hard to imagine that somebody's not going to like one of the things that's in that huge spectrum of, of possibilities. The second thing is, I guarantee you that friend of yours that says, oh, I only drink Chardonnay, at some point they didn't drink anything, right? And then they had a couple different things. They said, oh, I like Chardonnay. That's my thing. But they probably only tried five or six different wines or maybe ten. And there's thousands and thousands of different varietals that are out there. And they're all unique. They're all special. They're all brilliant in their own, in their own way. And so what we're going to do tonight is we're going to drink a bunch of obscure wines that, that probably many of, of you guys haven't heard of. And we're going to see what we think. So there's four whitish ones and there's four reddish ones. And let's just have at it and see which ones we like the best. So go to you guys. All right. Don't screw up the order. <laughs> that one's good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, I keep licking my lipstick all over the rim of these glasses. That's that's my bad. It's alright, I keep licking it off for you. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> oh, that was almost wine school. This is the fourth one, right? Yeah, yeah that was the third one. <laughs> And, and really getting outside your comfort zone and trying to, admittedly we did it very quickly and, and all kind of right next to each other, but what were your impressions of going through that process? What, what was, what made it stick out to you, something I like, or something like that? <laughs> no, there was a couple of, no. I would like, like make faces like, uh. Yeah, so what, what was it that, that, that you didn't like? Um, honestly, for me personally, I think a lot of them are really harsh 
um, there was for me I like kind of like a fruity but yet bitter taste. Um, okay. Usually when it comes to the red wine, I like a bitter but uh, fruity taste, and these are really just really strong acid. Uh, just really, really not not something I'm not <laughs> used to. And then that was the first one I tried, and I don't know, it just kind of stuck with me throughout everything. So it was really fruity and delicious and sweet. So, so, fruit, so, so you you have figured out that now maybe your wines are more like the fruity and fruity delicious. And, fruity and bitter. I like bitter wines, but I like really fruity. So, I mean, having to choose between a red and a white, and a white was really hard, but I, I like the white better than yeah. I'm the cool. opposite of her. I don't like bitter and I don't like fruity, so these two are like a little too much for me, and I like the heavy body reds for sure. Nice. Yeah. But this was the best white. I'm not a big white drinker, but I would definitely drink that. That was good. So okay. Was Casey, good. what about you? I never drink wine. So those were all. So you're, per, you're our, per, you're our <laughs> test case. Target yeah. audience right there. I yeah. like, probably have drank wine like a few times ever, but that was like the most mellow. It wasn't too, like, some of them I just like, <laughs> But that was mellow. And the, it wasn't as sweet as maybe some of the other white ones. It was, it was good. It's the best wine I've really tasted. Good. Cool. There, there was a lot more variation in the whites than the reds. Yes, mm-hmm. yeah. I agree. The spectrum was a lot more. Um, there were a couple whites that, you know, just didn't work for me. <laughs> um, why not, though? Why? It, too much fruit, too much sweet, too much oak. I mean, yeah. to me, you could knock the first three out. My white would have been the fourth one if we had two chips. Um, yeah. The reds were a lot more tighter um, mm-hmm. in comparison to one another. I agree, and as a matter of fact, I kept going back and forth between the four of them because yeah, all, yeah you, were, you, were, you were running, too. running oh, back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I had to taste these twice because I couldn't tell the difference really. <laughs> to figure and out what this one's actually really good. Sure. Yeah, yeah they were both really, really good. good. Yeah. I was also blown away about how fast you guys can taste wine. <laughs> <laughs> we have some. Big I was struggling to keep up. Yeah. <laughs> we don't mess around in wine school. I mean, it's it is game on. All right, so but but conceptually, if you think about. All of the different types of wines that are, that are out there. I mean, you, we took eight things that I would bet that probably none of you have heard of any of these. And within that, you found like, hey, this is like really, really awesome. And these other ones, not so much. One of the great things is if you find that wine that is awesome for you and is obscure, it's cheap as hell. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think any of these wines were over 15 bucks. What? Wow. Amazing. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> because they're all obscure and they don't have brands. They're they're of, of grapes that, uh, that that people probably haven't heard about. So you guys want to know what they are? Yeah, yeah. 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 definitely. I bet you do. <laughs> yeah, all right. So that's I, a quick I don't have them all memorized, but I do have them written down. Okay, so starting from this side, this is a Cremant d'Alsace, which is basically a sparkling wine made in the Alsace region of France. Um, this one was, uh, this is a Tavel. So also from France, it's obviously, it's a rosé. Um, this one, which, this was my favorite, I can't believe you guys all missed it. Um, <laughs> this, this is also from Alsace, and this is a Pinot Gris, which kind of makes sense to me. I'm a big Pinot guy anyway, Pinot Gris, so I, plus I knew what it was. <laughs> so this one, the, the one that was a big, big favorite of, of a bunch of people, and you said you would have picked it too, Mike. Of oh, the whites, I agree with that. Yeah. So you were with yeah. the two. Like everyone yeah. lo- loved this one the best. This is a Mosca Filaro from Greece, mm. wow. and this is like a ten dollar bottle of wine. Wow! Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and and this is one of those wines that, that people, when they hear about it, and they know about it, they're like, oh my god, I love Mosca Filaros. They're they're fantastic. Cheap. So, yeah, totally. <laughs> um, let's see. This one was. This is an Ayuritico. Which is just fun to say. I need to get like tried, everybody. I think I have training to say that. And where is that from? Ayoritico. It's It's Greece. Greece. Ayoritico. Um, this one is a Minervois. So this is from south of France, down just kind of right, right above. Uh, that's when you ended up yeah. with the Minervois. Yeah. Uh, let's see. This one. This is a Dolcetto de Alba. So the grape is dolcetto, which means little sweet one. Uh, and, and it's from Italy, northern Italy. And then the last one is a Zweigelt. 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 It's, it's got to be sweet. Right? <laughs> Sounds German. Any other guesses? We got one, one German, one Sweden. It is Austrian. Austria. Yep. Uh, Blauer Zweigelt. So find your one. So I encourage all of you, you know, the more 
different varietals that you try, the more you'll be able to hone it. And I guarantee you there is wines for everybody that will literally make you stand up and go, holy shit, this is fantastic. It works for me. And so your friends, the ones that only drink Chardonnay or say, I can't drink wine, it gives me a headache. They just haven't found their wine yet. <laughs> so nice work, guys, in finding your wine. As always, we're going out with 30 seconds of craziness. Uh, and I have to look up the name for this one as well because this is one of my favorite band names of all time, forever. And the band is uh, Pee Wee Ass versus Dee Dee Puss. <laughs> <laughs> and the song is Torture Garden, so check it out. Okay. 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 Okay.